Fuck the police, they are uh, in, in the intimidating me, they are taking my rights away. You, you, you're trying to say F the police, you're a gangster. I'm not a gangster, but... Uh, yes, you are. Real bro, you're a gangster. Police are... Uh, please give me uh, some tools to um, to oppose the, the, the go 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 pee on their police cars. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. You're breaking the Norwegian law. Are you a good Norwegian citizen? Do you consider yourself a criminal in the eyes of Norwegian law? In the eyes of that judge? But yes. The, the fact. Yes, I. Am. You're a criminal. Because, uh, I'm a criminal according to this judge. Because That's so beautiful, man. Are you going to burn the Quran today? So if, if so if you burn it, I'm sure, inshallah ta'ala, that the people watching this video, the Muslims watching this video, they'd be donating at least $50,000 in your name to build a masjid, a mosque, and da'wah center so your children can get the message of Islam. Well, beautiful, huh? Don't be that is beautiful. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Could you make an appeal for our viewers to donate for this beautiful cause of buying the carpets for the masjid? No. Come on, please. Do it. Go to IKEA and buy this guy a cheap carpet. <laughs> No, we're, not, we're gonna get those nice ones from Turkey. We might even put in some uh, nice Norwegian uh, d d design in the carpets. When we finish the masjid, you will come and you'll become Muslim. Inshallah. Inshallah. No. Inshallah. This is the the ruling from the court in 2019 where you said certain things and you were <coughs> convicted for racism. Yep. I want to go through that with you. Good Muslims are a pest and a plague for their environment where, 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 wherever they are. Every Muslim who, or every human being that confines to Muhammad's ideology and work towards um, implementing Islam's evil here whether it is done through violence or through political means, is a threat to the security of this country and should be deported and interned on lifetime. Yep. And, uh, and here we have this, this is, uh, you can say, the essence of this um, ju judgment because uh, the court um, made up their own um, definition of good Muslims. Uh, I have been... So, the, so, the, have so been look... ...that uh, also written in these documents that a good Muslim is uh, someone who copies Muhammad's behavior. Uh, so okay, am I a good Muslim? That up, up to you to... No, no, you tell me. No, I can I cannot tell you. Why and who is a good Muslim? Um, someone... So, uh, okay, so I do my best to follow... The, I, I do my best to follow and copy the, the behavior of Prophet Muhammad. Yep. Am I a good Muslim? Yep. Okay, good. But, uh, good. The, the point here with the judge is that the judge... Um, I, I used to say that uh, you and I, or the judge, or a journalist, or whoever, has no right to define any. Uh, but every, every, okay. This, this is important. But this, this one, 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 one. This is why uh, I was sentenced because the, the judge threw away Islam's definition of. No, 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 no. He didn't. He didn't. It, 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 listen, listen. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll come to. I'll come to that. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just one second. One second. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Do we agree that a good Muslim is one who wants to practice? the religion of Islam according to the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. Yep. Okay, and that's exactly what they say as well. The court. No, they say okay. the opposite. They say that, no, we think, we believe that uh, a good Muslim, uh, a Norwegian uh, citizen on the street, will understand the word good Muslim as equal to a good Norwegian. And that's No, that's rubbish. They didn't say that. That's what they say. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. It's two, three years since I read it, but, but uh, it's, uh, they say something so, like that. So what they are saying, that, that you tried that to... That is why. No, no, look, look, look. The court is saying that in the court, you were trying to give another uh, explanation. You were trying to say that the good Muslims are those people who have uh, are part of the Islamic, so-called Islamic State, no. ISIS. That is an example. You cannot read... Um, that, that's what they're they saying? Yeah, they say that. They say that you said that. They say that, but uh, I also say that a lot of other things. And all the most important. And then, okay, the, okay, the carry on, carry on. Is what it said in these eight pages. Yeah, look, 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 look. Okay, let me read this. The court is saying that the, the statement "good Muslims" is, according to the court, it have to be understood as uh, including including everyone uh, who look at 
Muhammad as their prophet as um, and, and practice Islam. Yeah. Is that correct? We're practicing Islam. That's correct. That, that's a good Muslim, right? Yeah. The yeah. one who practices Islam according to the prophet. Islam according to the prophet. To what, uh, copying the prophet? Yes. yes. So they understood you very correctly. No, they did not. Okay. And I tell you why. Because in these um, uh, in these documents, uh, I, I clearly state that a good Muslim is the one who copies the behavior of. And the and that's exactly what they say as well. No, but the, the problem is they don't understand what it means to, to. Yes, they do. They do understand it very well. So just, just so so, and their conclusion is that. Uh, this statement, uh, yes, that because you are calling for deportation or internment on lifetime, this can be understood that Muslims are not welcome in Norway, and that, that's obviously that you, what you're saying that Muslims are not welcome. Is that correct? Yeah, those who, yeah, th those, yeah. Who, those who want to, to. And then they have concluded, oh, sorry, yeah. and then yes. and then they have concluded that this statement is discriminating. Yeah. Or hateful, according to the paragraph 185, and it is an illegal statement. What do you say about that? I don't agree, but uh, uh, but why? Do, but why do you keep saying the same things when you know that it is illegal to say that? Because you keep on saying freedom of speech. You're burning the Quran because it's under freedom of speech, and but you are saying these statements which you know are not protected by freedom of speech. You're breaking the Norwegian law. Are you a good Norwegian citizen? Well, that's uh, not up to others to define. But uh, you tell me. Yeah, um, I'm good in the sense that I'm trying to inform people about uh, the Islam problem. But is, is it okay to break uh, the law? I'm not breaking law, and the, the yeah, according to the court, yeah, you've been sentenced to jail. Let me let me answer. Um, this this judge had her own opinion on what a good Muslim is. No. Uh, you you were judged. I will I will yeah, and you know what. I, I was not allowed to take it to, um, to um, uh, higher court. Why? Even, even the terrorist Breivik was allowed to do that? Because, uh, partly because of the COVID, uh, they, they threw out a shitload of cases uh, in, um, in the when it's, uh, early 2020. Uh, okay, and, uh, but anyway, so, so, so yeah. because you weren't, because you didn't get a chance to take it to high high court, the, 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 the then we have to then we have to stick to this ruling. Yeah. And so and this and this ruling and this ruling one one second, one second one second but this ruling states very clearly it is illegal in Norway for you to call for the deportation and internment of Muslims. It does say that. Okay. Let's. Do you want to read it again? Uh, it's it's discriminating. Let me uh, clear this up because. Um, you still keep saying the same things. Yeah. Uh, isn't that? So you know, you're not following Norwegian law. You're a criminal then. What? You you have to open up and understand that. The fact that I have been repeating this every time I'm out uh, doing a speech, I repeat this, and that's with a purpose. My purpose by repeating this every time since 2019 is to, to force them to take me to court one more time and to uh, to be. Uh, so why don't they do that? Actually, I, I, I'd like to see that as well. Yeah, I know why. Why? Because they know that this. It's um, it's not uh, a good uh, judgment. They know that uh, it's my right to say what I'm saying. But this uh, this uh, this judge had a political um, opinion and uh, thought it was not right. And, okay. Uh, and so that's how the, how okay. It is in okay. So you so you still believe the exact same things, and you say yeah. you you continue to say the exact same things, yes. and you believe it's, it's true. Yeah. And I'm you okay. No, no, no. We're not saying talk, uh, talking about I, truth, not. I probably. Uh, would continue saying it, even though they would uh, would uh, drag me to court every time. Listen to the next one. Yeah. You said Islam is uniquely unhuman. Yes. Therefore, Muslims uh, are more violent the more religious they get. Correct. I'm not, yeah, uh, it's a fact. Okay, good, That's good, good. Fact. That's a fact, according to you. Now the judge said that these rulings. No, th these uh, what, these statements uh, are discriminate, uh, discriminating or hateful, yeah. according to the paragraph 185, yeah. and they must be uh, considered. What a ring act? What is that in Norwegian? Uh, uh, persecution? Uh, per uh, persecution? Okay, ring act. What is ring act in English? Hatred. Okay. Oh no, whatever. 
to, to, to no, no. <laughs> yeah. that, that's why gonna, yeah gonna it doesn't it. matter no. they say that the, the 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 statements are the fact that the statements are in a political motive uh, does not any you know, legitimize them because the the growth had any you know, what you call the growth severity. the severity of these statements are not protected by freedom of speech these statements are illegal you know something funny that that's the, the state know? saying First of all, um, in in this uh, pamphlet, yeah. I had this footnote yeah. on that statement. Okay. Uh, referring to the, the the scientist who. What I want to know. What look 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 look. What I want to know is, you are portraying yourself as an as a patriot, like a proud Norwegian, a soldier, a soldier for 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 the Norwegian people, defending the <laughs> defending this country. But you are breaking the law. No, I'm not. You're not following the law. No. They no, say that you're a criminal. No, I, I'm following the law. I, the, this statement is true, and it's, it, I, it's possible to document it. I, the, the, the judge had the documentation, but didn't care. But one more interesting. But you are saying something which is illegal. More interesting thing. At the same time, or before. So you are a criminal, according to the judgment, right? Please let me finish. Yeah, but Be according to the judgment, are you a criminal? Before I stated this. Bergen Stidene, one of the biggest uh, newspapers in Norway, said exactly the same. They had an article based on this on the same uh, scientists findings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't care. I don't care about your justification. Look, 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 look. It's not about your justification. I'm asking you, according to this judgment, you've you've been convicted for this and they say it's illegal. Do you consider yourself a criminal in the eyes of Norwegian law? In the eyes of that judge, but yes, the, the fact, yes, I am. You're a criminal. Uh, I'm a criminal, according to this judge, because That's so beautiful, because man. This judge didn't read the documents because I, I, uh, in Norway, it's legal to say. So why wasn't this judgment challenged by other judges? Why didn't? Why wasn't there any protest? Why didn't any 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 champion of freedom of speech come forward? Now look, 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 look. One, one, one question, one question. No, no. When you're burning the Quran, when you burnt it in 2019. The first time you burnt the Quran, yeah. and the police instructed Benedict Björnlan, the police director, she instructed that you should be stopped from burning the Quran. There was a riot in your defense. No, because it was illegal. Politicians everywhere were defending your right police to right to burn the Quran. Now, exactly, now I'm asking you, why didn't we see this riot against this ruling? Because why didn't the, the why didn't the freedom of speech champions come forward and defend your right to say these criminal things about because, Muslims? Because people didn't read the 16 pages of uh, documentation. Yeah, did it. I even I read it. Uh, you, did you read the footnote that proves that uh, this claim is true? I read the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, is it? And, 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 and there was no footnote. And there was no footnote, there footnote to prove that this is the truth. This is obviously a lie. But that, but that's irrelevant whether it's a lie or not. Okay. The question so is, no. <coughs> look, look, look. Should it be punishable to say something that you can document as a truth? For example, uh, it's 25 degrees, or Muslims are in Britain are 170 times more uh, likely to be a sexual predator. Well, your your statement is completely rubbish. It, it, it's false. Well, it, 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 it has happen. nothing to do with, with truthfulness. But that's not the point. the point. You you're allowed to say lies in this country. You're allowed to say you are allowed yeah. to say stupid things. Yeah, and that's fine. But the, but the, but the question good. here, my question here to you is, you portray yourself as a soldier for Norway. Yeah, you're dressed in, in yeah, defend. No, no. It's an ordinary um, uh, civilian uh, outdoor jacket. Okay. Anyways, but in your military jeep, what is that? It's a military uh, jeep uh, sold by the military when they... Uh, what are you trying to look like? I'm trying to look like I had it for 12 years. What are you trying to look like coming in a military jeep and wearing this uh, kind of uniform kind of clothes like a soldier? Your hat, your green clothes. Yeah, the umbrella. Put on the umbrella. So I'm trying to ask you... Are you not trying to... Are you not trying to be seen as a freedom fighter? We are freedom fighters. Okay, we good, good. We but 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 you don't. But why? Okay. Yeah. Well, 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 listen, listen. You're a freedom fighter. You're a soldier. You're coming in this jeep. You have this uniform, but you're not adhering to the law of the country. So who are you really defending? I am. I am. No, you 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 were judged. These statements were illegal. Yeah, and I I have repeated them for um, more than two years, and they don't try to um, drag me to court again because they know it's legal. 
Who knows it's legal? The police, the, they tape every time we are uh, at, at the... So what you're saying here, that the police should actually take you to court for these yes. same statements and try it again, right? Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I agree with that. I agree with that. He should be taken to court again and should be tried for these statements. And also, in your conversation earlier with me, last time, you said that the burning of the Quran is a symbol of the same statements. That the message with the burning of the Quran is that you want to deport Muslims, that Muslims are sexual predators. So my point here is that since that is your message, we should also try that in the court of law. Agree? Anything can be tried in the court of law. And you just file, a, a, go to the police. Okay, okay let, let me ask you a question. Are you man enough now to say that when I'm burning the Quran, because this will be a challenge for the Norwegian system, if you say this, it will be a challenge for the Norwegian system, a challenge for freedom of speech. Are you willing to say this? When I burn the Quran, say just clearly, I'm sending a message that Muslims should be deported from this country and that they should be interned and Muslims are sexual predators and murder zombies. Just say that. What, uh, just say that. When I'm burning the Quran, well, you, you can't. Uh, please, 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 no, please, no, no. please. No. Because, because, because that if, if, uh, we will have a very interesting court case. Yeah, well, maybe we would, but um, are you willing to say that? No, that is not why I am burning the Quran. No, come on now. You know that's why you're burning. You said that to me earlier when we spoke. No, I didn't say. That. Yes, you no. did. I have it in recording. No, fine, because then we can uh, clarify that that I didn't say that I am burning the Quran. Because I I remember all of the yeah, yeah first about the police yeah this, it's a revenge against the police. Når du brenner Koranen, hva, hva er det du ønsker å formidle til oss muslimer? Hvorfor kommer du på vår eiendom og brenner vår bok? La oss fokusere oss. Det er er at ja. det tankesettet dere bærer, mm -hmm. det passer ikke i Norge. Okay. Og det, det står bare i Norges lover, det står i menneskerettighetene. Og menneskerettighetene gir oss adgang til å kaste dere ut. Og den europeiske menneskerettighetsdomstolen sier det. Uh, Islam sier det selv ved at det ikke har en gyldne regel. Greit. Alt, både alt, absolutt alt, underbygger Så, at deres tankesett er... Så Koranbrenningen, hvorfor gjør du det? Det, 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 dette er budskapet ditt, dette er budskapet ditt med ja, koranbrenningen. Innholdet at, i koranen. At vi, ikke, at vi ikke hører hjemme her, vi må deporteres fra landet. Ja, Bare si det rett ut, ja, det er budskapet ja, ditt. Ja, dere hører ikke hjemme her. Ja. Dere skal deporteres fordi ja. dere har et uh, ondt tankesett som mm. har som formål å uh, okkupere Norge. If you are a champion of freedom of speech, you are a representative of freedom of speech, you are fighting for goodness against pure evil, you, and you want to be a defender of freedom of speech, just say this statement. I'm burning the Quran to send a message to the Muslims that they should be deported, they should be interned, they don't belong here, they don't have the right to be here. And they are sexual predators and murder zombies. Just say it. Please. We will take uh, I I will uh, I will take it to court. Oh very well what I'm saying about sexual no, no, yes, yes, but, but, but please say this. That, I will take you to court. That, please, please, that, please, please, please. That is not what I'm saying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, what are you saying? I'm saying that a sexual Muslim who is a sexual predator... Sexual Muslim. A Muslim who is a sexual predator is a good Muslim. Okay, okay. Muslim. Because... That, that was my point. ...was a, se a sexual predator. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, that, that's not my question, yo. No. Listen, 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 listen. My question is... The burning of the Quran, the message you're trying to send out to the society. What is the message? You want the society to know when you're burning the Quran that Muslims should, they do not belong here, right? No, no. Do uh, Muslims belong here? I'm, I'm, I'm quite uh, clear. Do Muslims belong here? Those who want to imply Sharia head does not belong here. And okay, 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 okay. Let me, let, me, let me be more specific. Do Muslims who are practicing Islam according to the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, do they belong here? No, because they, no, because great. they want to, to imp to impose Sharia all right, here. All right, all right, yeah. whatever, 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 whatever. That's, that's not my point. My yeah, point. Now listen, point. listen. My point is, yeah. so when you're burning the Quran, that's what you're saying to the people, right? No. What are you saying to the people then? Mostly I'm saying, fuck the police. They are uh, in, in intimidating me. They are taking my rights away. They are... Uh, well, you can, you, to, you, can say that, you can say that by burning the pride flag. Why don't you do that? Because I'm not in the anti-pride uh, movement, I'm in anti-Islam movement. Okay. <laughs> but you, but you, I thought you were in the anti-police. I, I, I thought you were in the anti-police movement. Uh, you, you, you're trying to say f the police. You're a gangster. I'm not a gangster, but uh, yes, you're real, bro. You're a gangster. Police are gangsters. The police let are let me, political. Let me, let me. They're, they're, they're you, you know, it's illegal to say f the police. No, 
It is. No, in the, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 to, to show them the finger here in Norway is illegal. That's a different thing because if you say to a policeman, a, a, a displacement, you say, fuck you, you insect or something, oh. that's illegal. Okay, okay. Yeah. L l coming back to the question. Yeah. So, y is your beef with Muslims or with the police? Both. So the police, they actually represent the country. No, They're defending the country they from criminals. So, the, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this. You are, according to the judicial system in Norway, a criminal, okay? Yeah. And the police is your enemy. What does that make you? Does does that make you a hero? No. It just yeah. makes you a criminal, bad person. Your, your premise. According, not according to me. According to the Norwegian your country. Premise is that um, you don't represent Norway. The police or the court system is always doing the right thing and we know that that is not the case but uh, you've been burning the quran quite a few times yep. and you're effing the police quite a few times then so, so you're not even talking about a single incident you're effing the police you're a gangster man but that's strange why they keep you're on, a gangster why they, why they keep on uh, violating our uh, rights and when they know that we will uh, we will retaliate it's uh, strange uh, I'm tempted to believe that the police uh, like Quran burning since they uh, keep... So why don't you do something more with the police? Because they don't seem to care about the Quran burning. Why don't you do something else? They do. I know they do. I talk to them. But, um, you talk to them? Yeah. I, 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 I talk to some parts of the police, but uh, the, uh, the local police... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, forget about that. So last time we spoke, you said pretty clearly, first you came with this police thing. And we are great. Okay, let's let's you let's. Like that no, no, no. This is not an argument. We know that's not your why you're burning the Quran. Are you? We, you're burning you the Quran. You're like you're, uh, because of your hatred towards Muslims and Islam. Obviously, yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously, in your brain, because your brain is is uh, focused in the same way that this guy's brain. So in that way, you're not able to think freely. Uh, it's um, so. You, I, I don't care what you think about this. I really don't care. But uh, I have my opinions. I have my reasons. Okay. Uh, and but uh, question, question, now. question. So my friend asked you here. He asked you earlier that why do you want to incite such feelings in Muslims, insult Muslims so much when you're burning the Quran? And you say it's not about that. It's about I have a beef with the police. I want to f the police. So you could be f in the police in a different way. Uh, please give me uh, some tools to um, to oppose the, the, the go 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 pee on their police cars. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Why don't you uh, do that? Oh, uh, they, they put me in jail. No, no, no. They want to put. You. It's freedom of speech. It's freedom, it's freedom, freedom of peeing. Pissing on a pissing on a police car is not uh, not legal. But uh, so the. But uh, but your different statements as well as we uh, uh, <laughs> discussed are not legal either. To call Muslims as uh, murder zombies sexual predators and asking or calling for them to be deported from the country is also illegal if I according to the according to the ruling if i had said that all muslims are practicing muslim okay, fine. practicing muslims those who copy the religious muslim those, those who follow the prophet yeah the, that's muslims it's, it's that's it's, all muslims it's, if you consider the sira as a fact it's a yeah yeah all all muslims do that they do? I don't yeah, think Yeah, all Muslims know. believe in the Sira. But uh, the, I, you know, most Muslims I talk to haven't then don't know what Sira means. Yeah, that's fine, even if they don't know, but they believe in the Prophet Muhammad and they believe him to be the perfect role model. But how can you believe in a role model if you don't know his behavior? No, no, obvi obviously, not every Muslim is a scholar, but what every Muslim knows is that, hey, I believe in the Quran to be the word of God. And I believe in the Prophet to be a true Prophet of God and a perfect example to follow. There's no two opinion about those things, about that question. Every single Muslim believes in that. There is no, no exception. You can't be a Muslim if you don't believe that the, the Quran is the word of God and Prophet Muhammad is the best role model to follow. Agree? That's uh, correct, yes. Yes, so you are talking about all Muslims then? No. Oh man! <laughs> So that, that's a that's a contradiction. Okay. To me, the the point is, do you want to impose Sharia in my country? Yes or no? No, we don't want to do that. Oh. We don't want to do. You're a bad Muslim. I'm a bad Muslim. Yeah. So oh come that, on, man. Uh, okay. What praying Fajr? Is that important? Let's turn the, let's turn the question a little bit. Do you do you support Sharia in a future where Muslims are um, in, in, a, in a majority so that they can? They can um, define the legal systems. Now look, look, look. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't have a problem answering that question. As a Muslim, I am fully convinced that Islam is the best way of life. Okay, the teachings that Islam t uh, teaches, what the Prophet Muhammad taught us, is a perfect example for humanity to follow. Would I be happy if people found peace through the teachings of Islam? Yes, I would. If the whole world became Muslim, would I be happy? Yes, it, it would make me happy. Just like any Christian would be happy if every human being on the planet found Christ, as they would say. Just like any political party in this country would be happy if the whole country voted for their political party. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing the, the, wrong with the that. One thing, the one thing that is wrong is that Sharia is a political system that makes me a subhuman. That's what you think, yeah. That's what Sharia is. No, that's your interpretation of the Sharia. Okay, we don't believe that. Okay, take a look at the Reliance of the Traveler, chapter 011. Uh, it uh, regulates the um, uh, non-Muslims living conditions in an Islam-occupied country. Um, that's not nice. Go and read it. Um, now, non-Muslims have, have actually lived under Islamic rule for centuries. And they've been allowed to practice their faith, even the things that uh, Muslims, for example, drinking alcohol. Christians living in a Muslim land are allowed in their own personal gatherings to drink alcohol. They're allowed to worship their own God, even yeah. though we don't... In, uh, in to build churches or uh, maintain the churches they have. They, don't. they are fully free to do their practicing in their own houses of worship, yeah, you know, not only on their homes, in their, in their houses of worship. Last thing. The fact of the matter is, we've actually raised half a million dollars. And I've, been, I've told you this before as well. With your Quran burnings. Mm -hmm. Now my first question, are you going to burn the Quran today? No, I hope, hope not. Why not? I hope to, um, that the police are doing their jobs uh, to, to silence the opponents in a way that makes me able to make my message here. So if, if, so if you burn it, I'm sure Insha'Allah ta'ala, that the people watching this video, the Muslims watching this video, they'd be donating at least $50,000 in your name yeah. to build a masjid, a mosque, and da'wah center for the beautiful message of Islam to reach the country of Norway. Well, whether the message is beautiful, that depends on in which end of Islam you are. Yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But we believe it's beautiful. And we hope that through your burning of the Quran, we would be able to finance our da'wah so your children can get the message of Islam. Well, beautiful, huh? Don't be that is beautiful. Well, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That. You shouldn't be too optimistic on that. Yeah, bro. I'm too, well, I am. So I'm, oh, You don't know, bro. Our masjid campaign, I was starting to get afraid. We might not be able to finish this project. And then you come along and we raise half a million dollars. That's nice. And we, and right now we actually need to buy some carpets for the masjid. We need to build the mahrab and the mimbar. That's the stage right now. Could you make an appeal for our viewers to donate for this beautiful cause of buying the carpets for the masjid? No. Come on, please. Do it. Okay. Go to IKEA and buy this guy a cheap carpet. <laughs> no, we're, we're going to get those nice ones from Turkey. Okay. We might even put in some uh, nice Norwegian uh, design in the carpets. That would be beautiful, yeah? You could come and pray as well. You, you, you take your shahada at the masjid. When we finish the masjid, you will come and you will become Muslim. Inshallah. Inshallah. No. Inshallah. Okay, it was very nice meeting you. It was actually a very decent conversation. We should do this more often because at the end of the day, even though we disagree a lot, and we do, and that's fine. But the fact that we are able to speak to each other in a civilized manner and we're able to have this kind of discussions, uh, I'm sure that I learned something from you. And I hope that you learned at least something from me as well. Something, right? Yep. Something, yeah. And, and that's one stepping stone. So if there was something, maybe there was some kind of thoughts you had about, about Islam earlier. I don't know. Maybe some misconceptions. I hope. I don't know. I hope. People some will, misconceptions. We have to do this more often. So, so we, will, we will do this, inshallah, more often. And one day, inshallah ta'ala, you would take the shahada, you would become a Muslim, and you would be fighting for Islam, you'd be waging jihad. Peace I believe in no, I'm joking, bro. <laughs> take care, take care. Yeah, okay. So I'll actually see you to demonstration as well. I'm gonna come come and look. Yeah. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.
Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, my brother SQ here, my beloved brother. Wow. Now, that was an amazing discussion. Like, it was just so much being, you guys don't understand, like, being there, you know, you usually see these on, 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 on your computer, on your phone, you're watching it, you're like, what would you do in this situation? Wallahi, like, you have so much patience. Like, I, like, <laughs> oh, may Allah bless you, man. And may Allah you have to have patience with these kinds of people. Project as well, too, because this guy is doing more harm than he is doing good for his own cause, right? Like, he's, he's helping literally build this mission. I know you guys are going to donate and support as well, too, because this is what the country needs. The country, the Norwegian people are waiting for Islam. That's what you guys are. They're waiting for Islam. They're desperate for Islam. They're thirsty. They're hungry for Islam. And by clicking the link below, Inshallah Ta'ala, they're getting one step closer to Islam. Their generations of children can become Muslim. And that's what he see. He knows the power of Islam. That's why he's trying to eradicate it. But you know, you can't this, this kind of reminds me of the incident of, of Ta'if. Uh, when the Prophet uh -huh. went to Ta'if and they, they threw stones at him. They completely rejected his message. And when he had the chance yes. to destroy them, yeah. The angel came down and gave him the choice, just the, the angel of the mountains, just let the mountains come together and completely destroy those people. And the Prophet allowed them mm. because from their generations, there might come some people mm. who will worship Allah. And I say the exact same thing. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. We, when Definitely. we are here with this guy who are, who are burning the Quran, insulting the Prophet Muhammad and, and we can use this as an opportunity for the message of Islam to reach the people of this country even though he doesn't accept Islam himself even though he dies as Abu Jahl mm. even though if, if, if that happens but the seeds we plant because of this guy and in the future to come it might so be because of your donations yes. the next generation growing up in this country might be Muslim yes. Allahu Akbar Allah. Wa alhamd so we guys, we just need to continue the work of da'wah. So donate whatever you can. Help us establish this masjid and da'wah center. The first of its kind. We'll be giving da'wah and spreading the beautiful message of Islam to the Norwegian people. So people don't end up like this guy. Don't want to be that guy. We don't want to be like don't that. Be we, that don't want, we don't want more people like this. Oh, Allahu Akbar. And the only way that we can actually fix this is through education, guys. So donate right now. Click that link. Seriously, guys. Like, you know, a lot of times we're just like, how can we help? And you might not be physically here to support us, right? Like, it, it means a lot that if people are around us, like he had his Nazi friends around him, yeah. it feels good when there's a more Muslim Ummah around us in that process. But if you want to help, you want to support, donate, guys. Donate and establish something that will have longevity. Longevity is having a center where people could come together and pray, and you can earn the words that way. But you could also educate more people like him so that the world doesn't turn out like him because the Norwegian people aren't like that, guys. The Norwegian people are good people, they have soft hearts, they're good people, and they would love the message of Islam. And through you, how we can make that happen, brother. Like, this was an experience for sure. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Yo. We appreciate you guys. May Allah SWT bless you, and uh, we're out of here. Yeah, man. We're out of here.